The first game in the first round of the 2018 Electric Ireland Sigerson Cup saw Owen Lowry from Leash hit the net for UCD after 15 minutes. The corner forward scored 1-6 in total and even without Jack McCaffrey and Con O'Callaghan, UCD were just too good. Maynooth had home advantage but they could manage only one point in the first half and it was game over when UCD scored a superb second goal just after the break. Jack Barry shooting to the top corner. A late consolation penalty and this point by Ryan O'Rourke put a little bit of respectability on the scoreline of 2.15 to 1.6 but this was all about the 2016 Sigerson champions. Stephen, that was a job done there today. Yeah, um, just I suppose back in December when we saw the draw we felt Minot is one of the toughest draws we could have got. Um, so we knew coming down here that we need to be tuned in and thankfully we were. Got a good start and I suppose pushed on from there so happy enough for the day. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, we came here expecting a tough, tough game. Um, we didn't really know what to expect from Manute. We knew they'd be good. They have a few good Kildare players um, and we didn't know what to expect from ourselves. We're kind of a new team from the last few years. We haven't really got to play much together, so uh, it was kind of unexpected, um, but it was a good result. Good to get the win. Uh, I think straight off from the zone, our two midfielders, uh, Jack Barry and Barry O'Sullivan, gave us a good platform to play off. And in fairness, in the first half, the boys are very clinical up top. Um, so. I suppose just hard work really at the, at the end of the day was what really got us over the line. I mean, we didn't let any ball go easy, so this time of year, that's the way it has to be, you know? Yeah, it was it was tough. Um, like, I know we know a lot of the players from playing inter county and different things like that, but it was our first time playing together as a as a group. Um, it was good. I think we gelled well together, but we have a lot, a lot to go. Um, a good way to go to beat the next team. Um, we need a lot of improvements for the next day. I suppose in our squad, I mean, there's 35 fellas there and there's a lot of guys really competing. I mean, there was seven or eight guys very disappointed today, so guys knew if they weren't performing that them guys were going to come in and possibly take their, their spot. So that's the beauty of having a big university with big big competition in the squad. It keeps us going, so hopefully that'll stay right throughout for the next round as well. The weather conditions played a bit of a role there today as well. Yeah, just a heavy pitch um, and a bit of a wind going across the pitch. So, yeah, it wasn't easy, but um, it was grand. Nice winter football. It's just, I suppose, it was difficult during the league to get everyone together, which was uh, disappointing. I mean, we couldn't get a lot of continuity going, but uh, look, we've got a lot of intelligent players and intelligent coaches who give us clear instructions, so it's kind of easy to, to gel together with a simple game plan, so that's the way we're working now. Um, I suppose it was just hard work, uh, dogged it out, um, just fighting for every last ball and not letting anything go. Um, it wasn't really the conditions, the pitch here isn't in the best, Nick, so uh, it wasn't the conditions for fancy football, it was just working hard and um, working together. Definitely, yeah, but we know we're under no illusions. I mean, there's a lot of really good teams left. Uh, I think the next round is either Dundalk IT, Trinity or DCU. So, as I said, it's going to be tough no matter who it is. But uh, we're just going to focus on our own game for the next week or two now and be prepared for the next round.